Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at inverting a pixel layer which has got some transparency in it. Transparency also known as opacity or alpha because every single pixel you can change how transparent it is so you can see all the way through to layers underneath or partially through. So that sounds odd but it can be useful. Let's have a look. So first of all I'm going to go to the add a pixel layer here. So I've got a layer on top here and I'm going to paint on it and I'm going to get go to a paintbrush here and I'll paint in white because I'm going to show you an effect that this has and I can paint on here so this is kind of big enough and I've got a lot of transparency on here so the hardness is all the way down so I'm going to paint around the edge so you can see the effect of this so I can just paint onto that there so this is just this bit layer here so if I turn that off now you can see there the white there you can hardly see it actually but it, it is there, right. Okay, so now I want to be able to invert it. So, for example, I can use this for pixel selection to use this in similarly to a mask, but because it's a pixel layer, I can then put other controls on it. And I'm going to do this with... Go down to Live Filters here and go to Procedural Texture. And then what I do with that, I can add a control here with a plus... Turn off the R, because I've read there is set to zero, which is why that's gone cyan. And I put on A. Then I put in the formula 1 minus A, capital A. And what's happened here is this has gone solid. This bit is white here is where it is partially transparent. And the black is where it was previously completely transparent. And it's different colours because this is based on the... the color that was there which was black and this is there was no color at all up here so it's ended up as black there so so normally this is why I would often paint in black so what do I do with this well I can do this with if I go to a adjustments here and put on a curves up here and then I drag this one up to use as a pixel mask onto the icon there so onto a little square icon here so now I've got curves with the original area here painted in, but then inverted. So if I turn this up here, everything's going to get lighter or darker, apart from the area selected. But if I turn this off, the procedural texture off, turn this off, now it's only that area. So I've got select that area. Or select this area, so I'm selecting part of this one, but this is now selected this, or selected that. So let's just, for now, for example, I'm going to hit Control J so this whole thing is being duplicated. So I've got the whole thing here, got two lots of curves. So the bottom one here, I'm going to turn the procedural texture off, or I could actually remove it, right click and delete. So I've taken the, that off altogether, go to the curves, and I'm going to make this a little bit brighter. Then I'm going to go to the top one here and now I'm selecting all but the bandstand there and I make that a little bit darker. So now if I select both of them together and turn them on and off, so that's off, that's what's before and that's on. So I've made this stand out a bit more and taken the background back a little bit. So that's the way that you can invert a pixel layer which has got some transparency in it with a live procedural texture and it's one minus and it must be capital A because if I change that to lowercase a so it doesn't work it's got to be a capital A okay that's it and thank you very much for watching